controversy has followed this exhibition around the world, and now, three months before it's due to arrive in the capital, debate is already raging. Photographer Robert Maplethorpe is well known throughout the world, mainly for his portrayal of taboo sexual subjects. But as his admirers point out, the explicit material makes up only a small part of his work. This is a major retrospective. It's the bigger, biggest retrospective that's ever been done of Maplethorpe's work. So a retrospective is looking at the complete body of his work. And so to deny these photographs would be to deny one aspect and an important aspect of his work. Only 20 of the 200 photographs are sexually explicit, and it's these works Christian fundamentalists are objecting to. Censors have classified the catalogue restricted for those 18 years and over, but art critics are adamant that in the pornography versus art debate, art wins hands down. I think art and pornography are essentially different. I don't think it can be art and pornography. I think that context is very important. Here we've got wonderful photographs, very technically extremely good pieces shown in an art gallery context and these sexually explicit pieces are shown in the context of a whole variety of other images, important images. It would be different it seems to me if this sort of material, good though it is, were shown in Vivian Street in the in behind dark curtains. Maplethorpe worked in New York in the 1970s and 80s. He began his career as an artist and later began to experiment in photography. Art historians say it's Maplethorpe's lifestyle rather than his work has earned him a controversial reputation. I suppose most controversially he was part of the of the gay underworld in many senses. He, he's photographed sadomasochism, he got AIDS, he died of AIDS and people know this. This is part of the reason I think that there's such controversy about about this work. Wellington City Art Gallery is the only gallery in New Zealand to exhibit the works. The exhibition opens in December and it's expected to attract a lot more comment then. Fiona Cumming, News at 7. Debate has followed this exhibition around the world and finally after classification from New Zealand censors, these works by Robert Maplethorpe are being hung at the City Gallery. The controversy is centred around 20 pictures dealing with a variety of sexually taboo subjects. Three photographs, including Rosie, have R18 classifications, but the gallery had already decided to make the whole exhibition open to people aged 18 years and over. That picture was commissioned by an extremely distinguished and oft, often mentioned in the press titled English couple who hired Robert Maplethorpe to photograph their children while he was in London photographing the Archbishop of Canterbury. They selected the poses after the contact sheets were completed and he delivered the pictures and they paid him. Robert Maplethorpe died of AIDS six years ago, but his legacy leaves the debate over art versus pornography raging. His critics say his work reflects one of the only records of the sexual revolution that exists from the 1970s. Let's look at the most difficult subject, which is the sadomasochistic issue. If you consider them as a tribe, huh? because they have their own ritual, they dress in a certain way, they have sexual ritual between them. Hmm? They disappear, they're gone. Instead of inhibiting his work, the controversy surrounding it is seen as an important part of the artist's development. But Germano Salant so says the like work should only be viewed by those like who are open to seeing them. Thought. I think, you know, it depends on your education, what the sexual means or the pornographic aspect of the work. Depends what is your attraction, your desire. I, I see the show Robert always a kind of mirror for the audience. And they reflect what is their thinking about sex. You know, if they see that a black ass is, you know, something pornographic, I can see instead of a canova of today. Without artists like Robert Maplethorpe, he says sexual aspects of culture would be ignored. For the artist, he says, it was a matter of trying to be radical and using the language of the art system. And he's showing the skull in front of the audience and his body disappeared in the dark. That's an impressive statement. He knew he was dying. So he knew he was homosexual, knew he was sadomasochist, he knew he was a beautiful person. He was male and female and he was dying. So what is important 
that is part of his own history and is responsible for it, which I think is the best statement by an artist. The Robert Maplethorpe Retrospective opens this Friday at the City Art Gallery. Fiona Cumming, News at 7. As the City Gallery prepares to open tonight with the X-rated Robert Maplethorpe exhibition, it faces strong opposition from Christians. The Christian Heritage Party wants pictures it claims are offensive removed from the exhibition. Members feel so strongly they're gathering a petition to take to the Mayor and City Council. They've also requested information under the Official Information Act to find out who allowed the exhibition into the country. A particular objection to Christians is the picture of Robert Mapplethorpe in the nude with his bare anus squatting on a crucifix, which of course is grossly uh, offensive. The party says freedom of choice is not an issue in this case. Robert Mapplethorpe uh, is known to have been involved in Satanism. He's known to have been involved in promiscuous uh, homosexuality and uh, sadomasochistic uh, sexuality. He's known to have been uh, deliberately trying to proselytise this lifestyle. And I believe that this is the agenda behind the exhibition, that, that, that a lifestyle is being proselytised here. But most people on the streets disagree with this view. The thing is, should, people should be able to go and it's just up to them to make up their own individual, individual mind if they want to see it. It's actually a bit disappointing that it's being marketed, uh, you know, the sleaze aspect of it's being marketed because the vast majority of the exhibition uh, is not. It's a public gallery, it's publicly funded, it should be open to people who are under the age of 18 and it should also be open to people who are over the age of 18 but have children under the age of 18. They shouldn't need to find care for their children while they go to a publicly funded gallery. Even the Mayor endorses the exhibition. The public should be given the opportunity to choose which events they wish to attend and decide for themselves the merits of the works of art on offer. It's sowing um, you know, things that are indecent and offensive into people's minds and I'm sure that in the future the city will reap the consequences of that uh, from choosing to display these things. The Christian Heritage Party is protesting outside the City Gallery tonight as the gala opening of the exhibition gets underway. Fiona Cumming, News at 7. The Robert Maplethorpe retrospective has attracted more people to the City Art Gallery than any other exhibition. Opening weekend drew almost 2,000 people and the first five days saw more than 4,000 attend. Yet the Christian Heritage Party wants exhibitions like this banned and the group's putting a petition to council to have what they describe as pornographic pictures removed. The pictures show the ultimate degrega degradation of the human body and that is not artistic freedom in my view. That is extremely, uh, you know, shows lack of respect and poor taste. The group says more than 500 people have signed the petition, not all of them Christians. Wellington City says the group can present their petition at the last council meeting of the year, but no discussion on it will be possible because of standing orders. Traditionally, the public can't discuss issues which aren't on the council agenda. Wellington rate players will be able to take note of the reactions of the various councillors and. Uh, Maybe it's time to stand some more councillors and uh, another mayor who have um, views more in keeping with the, the decent values of the majority of the populace. While some people remain opposed to the exhibition, others have no problem with the pictures at all. I think it's art. I'm actually really enjoying the exhibit. The exhibit. Some of it does push the boundaries a bit, but what art doesn't really. Yeah. I think people shouldn't interfere with art, just leave it alone. Whether the group can voice their opinion at the council meeting or not, they're vowing to keep protesting. And if nothing else, they're hoping to try and stop exhibitions like this coming here in the future. Fiona Cumming, News at 7. Just some of the photos taken by this man, Robert Maplethorpe. His exhibition opens on Friday. The Chief Sense has already had complaints about this exhibition. Three of the photographs can't be shown to anyone under the age of 18. The catalogue has to be sold in a sealed envelope. And an anti-Maplethorpe demonstration has been planned. All this 
even before the exhibition has opened its doors. Art can be really strong stuff. I mean, you don't go to an art gallery just to be confirmed in your good taste. I mean, you go to be challenged. More than 200 Maplethorpe photos will be on display. Some show the famous, like actor Susan Sarandon. Others are quite anonymous, and many are very, very controversial. Maplethorpe worked in New York in the 70s, his work reflecting his homosexuality and his obsession with sex. I'm not sure that Maplethorpe took them in order to shock people. He was interested in that particular so-called underground life, and he was a participant in it. Through Maplethorpe's lens, even a common flower may become controversial. The exhibition has toured many countries, this the first to involve a censor. Any publication, no matter whether it's in an art gallery or, or being sold in a local dairy or video store, can still be subject to the law. Wellington is the only place in New Zealand where these photographs will be seen. The gallery sees itself as the curator of artistic freedom. In the end, art is judged on quality, not morality. Others, though, may argue that it's the purveyor of pornography. You at Barnsley, One Network News. You know, I promised him unconsciously, you know, that I will get one million visitors for him, which for him would be a dream would be a dream. And we are getting there, 600,000 visitors now. Just around the world? Yeah. The man he made the promise to was Robert Maplethorpe, controversial gay New York photographer. The man making the promise is Germano Chalant, curator of contemporary art at the prestigious Guggenheim Museum in New York. I just tried to work, but you know, these people are killing me. <laughs> it was age that killed Maplethorpe, but his photography ensures his name remains as a huge drawcard in galleries around the world. His photos shock, penises, sadomasochism. US senators labelled them shocking, abhorrent. Some galleries refuse to show his photographs. But the galleries Germano Chalant visits do display the man's work. Put in the centre, 50 centimetre, and then we see. They say you can't separate a man from his art. In Maplethorpe's case, it's especially so. He's in so many of his photographs. His photographs are nearly all in the studio. Critics have described them as technically perfect and classical in form like the old sculptures. But the content pushes the bounds of society's acceptance of art. Robert is taking picture of reality that exists. The sadomasochistic history reality, the black body, the sexual uh, part are part of our life. And that is controversial because he's talking about reality. He presented s &M boys in the setting of the nuclear family. He showed a little girl, but with her dress up. He shows lots of penises. When you look and they show Robert Mapperto, you look to yourself or to your idea of sex. Because what you react is what you are in a certain way. If you are a pornographer, you project pornography. If you are you know, a lover, you project love. Maplethorpe saw black men as bronze sculptures and was one of the first to photograph and exhibit the black male body. The first, too, and to discover uh, women bodybuilders. You can see that the idea is she is selecting a, a, a female that won't become a male. Huh? For those who consider flowers not to be controversial, Maplethorpe had other ideas. If you look, start to look at them, they are sensuous and sexual as a, a kind of male organ. The only non-studio shot in the huge exhibit is of an aircraft carrier. Shot in Venice, it apparently represents for the photographer the nearest he could get to the man whose company he desired. So this airplane carrier, which is a gold miner for sex for him, you know, because there were black people. Germano Chalant says each person may take a different impression from the exhibition. The sexual side was so much part of his art. Is it as much part of his art as it is part of our lives? Oh, I think so. You I think hope so. Perhaps, 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 those that, perhaps those that don't like it will deny that that sexual side is so much part of their lives. I think they deny their sexual life. That's what it's about. 